2022 KDHS main report Taasisi ya unakili wa takwimu nchini leo imezindua ripoti ya utafiti wa demografia na afya itakayotoa mwongozo wa kutekeleza na kutathmini miradi ya serikali katika sekta ya afya Utafiti huo ulionyesha kuwa moja kati ya wakenya wanne ana bima ya afya ya NHIF Asilimia sabini na nne ya wakenya hawana bima ya afya Asilimia arobaini ya wakenya wanaoishi katika miji wana bima ya afya ikilinganishwa na asilimia kumi na tisa ya wakazi wa vijiji waliona bima. Idadi kubwa ya wakenya utumia pesa taslimu kulipia gharama ya matibabu hospitalini. Taasisi hiyo ikikadiria kuwa wengi hulipa takriban shilingi 1013621 kila mwaka. Ripoti hiyo inaonyesha kuwa kaunti za Tanariva na Mandera ndizo zenye viwango vya chini zaidi vya bima ya afya huku kaunti za Nairobi na Laikipia zikiwa na viwango vya juu zaidi. Waziri wa Fedha Njuguna Ndongo na mwenzake wa Afya Suza na Kumisha walisema kuwa serikali inaweka mikakati ya kuhakikisha kuwa kila mwananchi anapokea huduma za afya kwa bei nafuu. The Kenya Kwanza government assures Kenyans of its commitment to strengthen the NHIF to be able to guarantee universal access to affordable health care. But of course with that we also may say as government we also anticipate that the NHIF will increase its efficiency and scale so that it can lower the unit cost and then it means that all of us will be covered now i have the confidence to stand and say i must clean up NHIF utafiti huo pia ulionyesha kuwa asilimia 43 ya wanawake na asilimia 35 ya wanaume wa umri wa miaka 15 hadi 49 wanaamini kuwa mume ana haki ya kumchapa mkewe kwa sababu mbalimbali mbali. huku kaunti za Turkana na Isiolo zikiongoza katika mtazamo huo na asilimia 84 na 80 mtawalia Asilimia hamsini na mmoja wanawake na arobaini ya wanaume vijijini wanaunga mkono mtazamo huu ikilinganishwa na asilimia thelathini ya wanawake na ishirini na sita ya wanaume katika miji. Asilimia hizi zinapungua kadri kiwango cha elimu kinavyoongezeka. Afisa mkuu mtendaji wa tume ya kitaifa ya usawa wa kijinsia Beti Sungura Nyabuto amesema kuwa uhamasishaji zaidi unahitajika ili kuondoa mitazamo hatari kuhusu dhulma ya kijinsia. I mean you can imagine for you to Um, for example uh, look at your healthcare and you cannot even make a decision so that speaks to earlier presentations where we have matters of healthcare very critical including protection Muriel Adiambo Runinga K24 Nairobi